Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this tutorial, I am going to explore the testing module of Xcode and show you how you can create different tests and test your UI and different functionalities using these tests. Uh, so let's get started with it inside Xcode. So let's create a simple project and in it you have to enable the checkbox that says include tests and then you are going to set a product name and then it is going to create a simple Hello World Swift UI project for you that include tests. So here you can see that a simple content view code that I am showing you here clearly that this is the code that I'm going to use to create tests. So there is a simple label and a simple button and you can basically test it inside the preview as well what the, this button and this text does. So here you can view that the content view that I have created is a very simple one. It just has a label and a button. So when I click on the button, it is going to basically display the text that is Hello Swift UI. And when I'm going to press the button, which now says hide text, it is going to hide that text. So, so this is a simple functionality of this app and we are going to test it using different tests. So here is a test that I have created, which I have basically typed all the steps. So first is an app launch. And after that, I'm going to check that if the app.static test hello Swift UI is hittable is hittable is basically means here if it's visible. So it will be not visible at the start. And then I'm going to press the tab button and then it should be hittable like it should be visible. And after that, I'm going to tap the high text button and then it is going to hide the text so this is the functionality this is a basic unit test of my uh, ui that i'm going to pass and i'm going to play it and then uh, the uh, all of the testing module will check it and see if all of these steps are followed in the exact manner that i mentioned it here and it is going to then mark the test as passed or failed depending upon the output so by including tests in your app you are going to see a file with the name of simple hello app UI tests launch uh, tests. So it is basically going to test all of the launching functionality. So when I played it, it has shown me different uh, output in the debug window that it is going to basically change the orientation of your all of your screens and then it is going to create attachments and uh, screenshot each one of it. So this is basically to uh, you can go later on after playing the test and see uh, was the output in the exact manner you want so the tests are successful or not you can gauge that thing with your output of screenshots So here it is playing all the tests that we have created inside the class simple hello app UI tests so it is going to play each one of it one by one and show you the results inside your debug window at the bottom of the screen. So all of the tests are clear since these are very simple tests that I have created. So here I'm showing you a very simple functionality that you can basically record the step of tests using your UI. So you are going to press the red button, which is a circular record button. And then you are going to create a function and place your cursor there. And then when I am going to 
press the button it is going to record all of those ui steps inside the function test buttons and i have added a line with the name of app dot launch because we have to launch the app before testing it so this app dot buttons dot tab is then played when i'm going to play this function test buttons and you can see that these functionality is going to work fine because it is a simple functionality and the tests will pass so here is another file inside your simple hello app tests which basically shows you two of the functions which is set up with error and tear down with error so these are the uh, basically calls which are going to handle the pre and post um, testing um, code with these functions so if you want to play a code before doing a test you are going to add it to set up with error otherwise you, the at the end of each test you want to reset something you are going to add it inside tear down with error and there is the function test example where you can add your test any kind of test and there's another function test performance example which will basically shows you how you can measure the different attributes of a uh, of your cpu or gpu to get a performance analysis of your test that the functionality has costed you how much time or how much resources so this is all for the testing module this is just a basic overview of the testing module with, with some of the very basic examples that you can use as functional test or unit test to test the functionality of your app you can write as many tests as you want spe especially for the critical functionalities like you want to um, give a certain login and see that the output is proper and you can then call different APIs and see the results. Um, you do have to give some of the static input to your testing module as well so that it is able to test without the user interaction. So you can add specific accounts or specific information that can help the UI to navigate to certain windows. Uh, but it is again a very important and very helpful module which will automate your testing. Uh, the basic level testing of your app and then you can move on to other complex tests uh, by using your testing team or whatever i hope you have learned something from it do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel more interesting videos related to testing and other modules of xcode will be coming up soon on this channel thanks for watching